when you begin to live for God, it is like a non-ending process, meaning that you will always have to change in some area. Even when you believe that you don't have to change any more than what you have, the more you elevate in God, the more you seek God or get closer to God, you find out that there is so much that you have to change. You believe that you have pretty much done all that you can do or you have changed as much as you can or you can't get any better than what you are now. And you may believe that you are doing really well now. But like I said, the closer that you get to God, you find out now you have to change this. <laughs> I already changed so much already, you know, what is going on? Like, I watch everything I say, everything I do, and think, yes, mistakes may happen, but you are pretty much careful in what you are doing, saying, and thinking. But still, you have to change in more areas. And for some people, that may really discourage you. I know for myself, I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> I have to change more? Like, geez. <laughs> But don't let that discourage you. You have to continue to push on even when, like, I don't know. It is like you sacrifice so much and you believe that you are doing really well. Now you find out that you have to sacrifice so much or so much more or more, I guess I can say. Don't let that get you down. Because, like I said before, we have to become more and more like Jesus Christ. Give me a second, please. We have to become more and more like Jesus Christ. And that process is not an easy one. Let me tell you that. Like I said before, for anyone that says that living for God is easy, it is not easy. At times, it can be really mentally draining. Like knowing what you have to do and what you have to go through and stuff like that, really. Really mentally draining. So we all are constantly changing. Even the people that have been living for God for many years, even if you hear a person say that they have been serving God for 40 or 50 years, they supposed to be constantly changing as well. So your changing process never ends. It is like a non-ending process. <laughs> My Lord. So when you believe that you have done everything right or you are the best that you can be, you have to know that there is so much more that you have to change. Because everyone can get better in love or increase in love Everyone can increase in patience. Everyone can increase in other things that we need or what we have to show to people. I pray that makes sense. Like we all can increase in the attributes that we are supposed to have. So patience, love, 
kindness, compassion, I believe. Um, can't really think of all of them right now. Like the fruits of the spirit. Meekness, temperance, so on and so on. We all can increase in those areas, always. Because I don't believe everyone or anyone, at least while they are living on this earth, I don't think many people or anyone can max out on all the qualities that we need on earth. I don't believe it. If there is a person, I am shocked, but <laughs> of course, when Jesus Christ was on this earth, yes, I am sure that he maxed out in all the qualities. But other than him, I don't know anyone else or I cannot think of anyone else. So you have to always change. So if someone comes to you and say that, hey, you need to change in this or you need to change in that, don't get offended. Don't get so mad. Like, who are you to say that I need to change? You don't know me, you know. Chances are they may be telling the truth. We all have to change more in some area. Even if you do have patience, you need more patience. Even if you have love for people, you need more love for people. Even if you are doing good at what you are doing, we need to increase in that. I pray that makes sense. Does it make any sense? <laughs> Never ending process. So don't let it discourage you. You know, don't say what is the point, you know, let me just do whatever I want to do. No, things are going to get worse for you. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.